Yeah, here's a student's project. It's a windmill. And the question is, what is the optimum angle of the blade? So he built the box. Did you just press fit the bearings in the box there? Yep. And then an axle between the two bearings. And then the blades are movable. And we have a fan right here blowing on the windmill. And then measuring the angle okay, of the so blade. How do you figure it out, Lauren? So I use this digital tachometer here, and uh, you just hold it up to the spinning shaft, and it'll uh, give you a RPM count. And then I just kept a table of my results and um, was able to find which blade pattern with the blade angle was the most uh, efficient, because it spun the fastest. So wind was kept consistent. Mm -hmm. And distance then, from the fan was consistent, and then uh, the number of blades and the blade angle were the two uh, changing factors. Just as it by eye. So you so, made, is that a protractor? Yeah. So I made the the blade parallel to the line that I wanted. So like these are set at about 20. So there's probably a I don't know, about a degree or two off, just since I'm doing it by eye. But they're pretty close. Okay, and let's take a look at this that table data. Of so, X, our independent variable, is the angle of the blade. Y, our dependent variable, is speed in revolutions per minute. At 10 degrees, it spins 111, 20 at 130, 30 at 113, 40 at 92 RPMs. So you can see the peak's close to 20. Once you figure that out, where'd you go from there, Lauren? Um, I decided to go split the difference between, so I went 15 and 25, and um, I found that it was, they both were still slower than 130, so I kept getting closer to 20 until I found uh, about 21 degrees was the fastest at a little over 130 RPMs. You go. Science and woodwork, design, engineering.